Previously on Naraji's Nook, I showed you how I made these wall arts using Dollar Tree items. If you haven't watched this video yet, make sure to check it out right after today's video. For today's video, Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. So today's video is going to be a little bit different because I will be transforming this small kitchen which is that of my subscribers. So I will be transforming one of my subscribers kitchens today. Alright, so come with me. Okay, so as you can see, this is the space we'll be working on today and I'm also going to be showcasing some of my DIYs in this space which we decided to implement as part of the overall makeover. Alright, so yeah, so this is the space she has and we will be going ahead to make some changes here and there and um, as you can see, the fridge right now cannot fit into the space that is there so yeah, we'll have to make some changes. So first things first, I took out the cabinet covers, which I will be changing that. I'll be taking out this area completely so that the fridge can actually fit in properly. Okay, so the bottom ones cannot be taken out, so I'll have to hand paint them inside. And for the knob, I wanted to change that to gold, but on second thought, we decided to keep that because it looked really nice. It looks really beautiful. And also, uh, it actually matches the cooker so and the fridge, which we'll be using for this space. So that will stay the same. Okay, so let's get to work. First things first, I went out and um, spread the, the cabinet doors, which I'll be changing that to black because we're going with the black and white theme for the kitchen, all right? So um, this is me basically spray painting them and I'm using Tremclart um, spray paint. This is actually more to use. It is really, really good, very durable. And you could also hand paint them if you wanted to. I was going for faster and quicker option. Next, this, this wall on the side was just a big plain white wall and my subscriber wanted something a little bit dramatic but also subtle and we thought why not do a black wall here, okay? So we went black wall and black cabinets because the plan or the goal is to eventually get the floor white as well which will make the black pop out even more, alright? So that is why we're going with black and also black accent wall, come on. Why not? <laughs> anyway, so stick with us as we go on to paint this black. Alright, so please do let me know in the uh, comment section if you would like to see more makeover videos like this or decoration home decor videos because I've been wanting to show you guys some of these but I'm not exactly sure if this is the kind of content that you would like or if you just want me to keep on just with the DIYs, I would like to know. Otherwise, subscribe to my other YouTube channel, which is where I share whatever, whenever, however I want. And if you're up to something like that, make sure to hit that subscribe button right now at the top of the screen. Um, link to my other YouTube channel. And I already have some videos on there that may or may not interest you, but you can check it out. So that's our black wall, so it's good. I left the small area there because they're going to be putting the backsplash on there so that part is going to stay like that that's what our black hole is looking at right now and I'm loving it just waiting for it to dry out properly and then now we're going to go ahead and paint the cabinets so I'm going to be using this to paint here so I'm going to do all of this by hand all right so let's go Okay, so I carried on with painting out, uh, painting out the rest of the cabinets inside the areas that we obviously could not take out to paint. So I did this by hand. It did take a little while, but we got it done. So yeah, we also had an option to change the cabinets to white instead and also um, still keep the wall black. But my client actually really, really likes the idea of a black cabinet. Once we were done, we had to wait for this to dry out properly before um, bringing back the, the doors 
the closed the cabinet doors and fitting them back in all right so i'll also be changing the countertops eventually um, once i'm done with this and it's all dry properly the overall project took us two days but not two full days okay because i had to come here later in the evening uh, so we did this technically if i have to count hours it would have been probably about 8 to 12 hours so next up i will be taking out this area like i had said because no fridge except it's a bar fridge kind of short freezer or something would fit in here i'm not exactly sure what the builders were thinking but yeah <laughs> so we had to make our own changes here so i have to take out this entire cabinet this area just so our fridge can actually fit in properly it was a hassle to take this out because the nails were pretty long obviously to make sure that the cabinet held itself but yeah we got it done well guys i'm at that point of our video so if you've watched right up to this point i would love it if you can comment makeover in the comment section and show your girls some love i love to see it well carrying on and not to wait must waste most of your time uh we went ahead and put in the cabinet doors um just like i had mentioned and it's looking all good and glossy and yeah went on to complete taking out this area this area definitely gave us some trouble but we actually got it done it did need two people to do this so keep that in mind next step was to put a backsplash i'll be using these backsplash tiles self adhesive peel and stick from amazon i have that linked in the description box below and also on my amazon store front so this is what i'll be using as our new backsplash and i love it i just love how this looks what do you think please do let me know in the comment section below so this is actually peel and stick and they come in a pack of 12 i think we used three packs all together um, for this space it's not a big space so it made pretty much it made better sense for us to use this and um yeah the stick the, the adhesive is really really good and that was something i was very impressed about because i've used this before and not this one but i've used this spilling sticks before and some um adhesive on them do not work properly if you happen to encounter that i recommend you using some extra glue of gum paste to actually put that onto your wall especially if you do not mind it damaging your wall the wall itself is already really damaged but for walls that you do not want to damage if it's an apartment rental and you don't want anything damaging it then i recommend you using this considering that the paint on there is actually good paint you want to keep that in mind Okay, so you just have to take some time around the switches or plugins to make sure that everything aligns properly. And um, yeah, just eyeballing and measuring out and cutting. That's basically what we were doing at this point. One thing with these styles is that it is very easy to align them because obviously they're lines, they're like brick walls. So it's very good, very easy to actually align them when you're doing a setup like this. So if you're considering doing something like this, you may wanna consider the kind of peel and stick backsplash you wanna go with if it's something that you can easily align. All right, so once we'll be done with this, um, uh, the backsplash, the next step would be for us to put our countertop, which, will also, which is also going to be a peel and stick uh, marble, white marble, um, uh, her self adhesive paper that I'll be using as well. I'm also going to have that linked in the description box below. So yeah, so this we're halfway through and this is what it was looking like. I really liked it. Ignore the paint on my hand. We were painting other rooms as well, which I did not show in this video, just so I'm not making it longer than it should be. So I'm only going to be showing you the kitchen transformation today. Hopefully we get some time to show you the rest. 
my subscriber did not like the brown kind of top at all so she was really loving this one the marble top the marble self-adhesive paper so we'll be using this um, to actually cover that up once again this also comes out pretty easy so if you're in a rental and you wanted to try something like this you can actually do it Since this kitchen is a small kitchen and the countertop is not as long, we only used one roll of this. So the common rolls and we bought just one of this and it, it, we used it and actually had some leftovers. Okay, so first things first, I was measuring out how much I need per space prior to cutting it and also prior to taking off the self adhesive on the back. This is what it looked like once I was done with that area. So now I will go on to complete the backsplash. So to cut your backsplash, um, I actually was using an X-Acto knife and also a scissors. I find that it was very easy to use the X-Acto knife. It cut out precisely. The scissors also did cut properly, but you probably would need a sharper scissors to do this. So this is what it is looking like at this point we're actually already done everything is looking pretty good I'm gonna take out the tape and I'm also going to add some of my DIYs that I did last week on here and this is our final look guys what do you think I also went ahead and added some pot lights but I'm gonna come back to that all right, so you can already spot the pot lights underneath um, the countertop. They change colors. I also got them from Amazon, which I have them linked in the description box below. And this just changed the whole thing. My subscriber really, really loved this. I love it as well. So please do let me know in the comment section. They're all changing colors, but I personally would stick with just the one color. The white or the warm white is my favorite. You can change them using a remote or by hand by pressing the bulb as you can see me do right now. Well guys, this is what our transformation, our kitchen makeover is looking like at this point. I love it. What do you think? Please do let me know in the comments section. And if you haven't watched the video on how I made the wall arts you see on here, the white one as well as the black one, make sure to check it out right after today's video. Alright, so these are all battery operated, so you can always switch the batteries um, from time to time and you can also use the remote to change the lighting. Alright guys, do let me know your thoughts in the comment section as I would love to know what you think about today's DIY or makeover. And so that will bring us to the end of today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, do not forget to hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you do not miss a thing. In the meantime, always remember to be your fun self no matter what life throws at you. Thank you for watching and have a great day.